book of revelation chapter 3 verse 20 a banquet is ready go out with jesus when you go out you have to be with jesus surely he will enjoy the banquet so our god is very powerful in the blessed sacrament whatever you ask in between three and four that will be granted that's why we have uh, thousands of testimonies that we get around the world what happened during the three o'clock adoration today we have a testimony testimony number two see you maria giving a testimony from mumbai she has been blessed with a child 18 years after her marriage 18 years she was childless lost all hope during the online adoration i started praying again lord send your holy spirit upon me so that i may conceive according to luke chapter 1 verse 35 the spirit of the lord will overshadow upon you and you will get the power to conceive and she conceived now i am in the eighth month of pregnancy after 18 years of my marriage all glory and honor to jesus forever and ever amen what is the promise word holy spirit will come upon you impossible things will become possible and that spirit is ready to come we have to lift up our hands and pray sovereign lord once again send the spirit upon me that is acts chapter 4 verse 31 and also there was a time no anointing at all keep your hands down and look to jesus second maccabees chapter 1 verse 19 the high priest of that year said you just go out and collect some of the fire that our ancestors maybe 148 years ago before we are going to persia as slaves some of our priests took fire from the altar and that fire always coming from heaven and accepting the offerings and before they are going to slavery some of the pious jewish people took this fire and put it in a cistern barren well and they made a root map also years after they came back then the priest asked please go find out that fire we have received the fire from heaven 2000 years ago at the circle now that fire what happened to that fire verse 20 they came and told now that pentecost fire is turned as black and sticky substance there is no fire years after if there is no prayer there is no personal prayer there is no worship there is no adoration the anointing will be turned like black substance ineffective it was fire now there is no fire but the priest said just go collect that black substance second maccabees chapter 1 verse 20 go and collect it verse 21 they put that black substance on the altar extend your hands towards this altar now our anointing be turned like a black substance and sticky substance like a tar it's not effective not working well it's not burning and jesus said luke chapter 12 verse 49 i have come to this world to put to fire and i put to the fire i want to see it it is it has to become a big fire but now it is a small fire all logosians everywhere in the world extend your hands towards logos century the fire is going to once again blaze very high look at jesus he is going to send once again the power upon you and when they were praising and thanking god the fire once again came automatically that fire burning from the altar verse 22 the fire came and people amazed now all of you can see fire on this altar don't call the fire engine now that is a fire of the holy spirit if you have seen fire now in your room first you verify it is it a physical fire or a heavenly fire then only you have to take action if it is a heavenly fire immersed in that fire you will be anointed more and more so lift up your hands and extend your hands towards the sanctuary in the name of jesus jesus of nazareth i pray over all logosians let your anointing 
once again become big fire it may blaze right now it may become big fire right now so that you may get benefit and enlighten thousands of people the lord may give you wonderful charisms amen amen the magi just saw the star in the sky star of jesus and uh, came to jesus in bethlehem after that they didn't follow the star because jesus is a light and jesus guided them and holy spirit guided them to their destination they are not at all looking up but they are looking in the fire that is within and holy spirit guided them to their destination in the same way all augustians holy spirit guiding you like a fire to reach to jesus and from there to heaven extend your hands towards the sanctuary jesus. in the name of jesus i pray over all logosians today all logosians may have a wonderful powerful anointing and this anointing will bring all that you need in your life today's promise word sovereign lord once again send your spirit so let us lift up our hand and let this promise word be fulfilled today and the second timothy chapter 1 verse 6 rekindle the spirit and how to rekindle this spirit every day always you have to go to your prayer room at least one hour each in a day and take this book page 97 do your personal prayer surely your anointing will increase and you will receive fresh anointing every day and when you assemble together in your family and do your common prayers page 101 again the whole family will be anointed by the power of the holy spirit peter went to cornelius house and he preached the word of god acts chapter 10 verse 44 the entire house was filled with the holy spirit when you switch on this logos voice tv the whole house is filled with the holy spirit all types of evil spirit in your family or any place will be broken will be bound at the feet of jesus and that will be destroyed because Cornelius experienced in his house full of spirit in the same way when you switch on logos voice tv and watch and attending this online ministry the whole family will be anointed so there are several ways to rekindle the spirit but the best one listen to the word of god and go to your prayer room sit there hallelujah hallelujah keep your hands down and look into jesus one rose came to uh, my ministry in assumption church she was depressed she has suicidal tendency she has no marriage father and mother died and there is no hope for her and when she was praying the holy spirit descended upon her in assumption church in bangalore and she was shivering like this and she experienced sweet fragrance around her and she went home and she took this book page 97 she was just doing personal prayer the shivering again happened sweet fragrance spread in the house that day on was changes happened in her life and she has given a wonderful testimony within one month her marriage happened she has two children now and she was an orphan no father no mother she was all alone suicidal tendency and no job now she has job she has hope she has children she has husband life is changed by the anointing of the holy spirit Now lift up your hands and pray for fresh anointing and outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Your life will be changed by the power of the Holy Spirit.